Will the government look into the decision to reject granting a free-to-air television license to Hong Kong Television? HKTV was denied such a license without an explanation after the head of the network, Ricky Wong, invested 900 million Hong Kong dollars to build a new alternative TV network. The license rejections on October 15 caused a public outcry. At a time when the chief executive C.Y. Leung's popularity is at an all-time low. Many residents were disappointed in the decision, accusing the government not only in meddling the choice of entertainment, but failing to show how they arrived at their unpopular decision. Yet pro-government groups like Love Hong Kong, known for their yellow shirts and loud anti-HKTV slogans, arrived at government headquarters in Admiralty to support the learning decision. And several argued that the executive council's decision-making process should be confidential. Ricky Wong claims the problem is not about whether HKTV gets a license. It's about the sudden change in a policy that was established in 1999, saying there is no upper limit on free-to-air TV licenses. And suddenly, CY Leung and Exco say there is. Actors and actresses marched and spoke alongside legislators and housewives. They called for justice. I don't think this involves Beijing government. This is nothing to do with politics. Hong Kong is never a political city. All we want to know is just explanation. Many people see the decision as the latest in a long list of policies to further the interests of Beijing. The South China Morning Post reported two lawmakers were approached by China's Central Liaison Government Office ahead of a key vote to legislative councils considered to investigate the license controversy. Legislator Claudia Mo claims that Beijing gave direct order to the chief executive to stop Wang from getting a license. At Beijing's behest, it's Beijing's order. Absolutely. They don't like him because he, um, we're talking about free TV. It, it's about uh, ideology. And you know the Chinese communists. They need to control, one, the army, fine, and two, uh, ideology. Hong Kong protests have escalated in recent years. Last year, the Executive Council proposed a mandatory moral and national education classes in school, aiming to promote a better identification between Hong Kong residents and mainland Chinese. Some argued the program was designed to brainwash Hong Kong children into loving Beijing. Many Hong Kong residents are worried the city's core values are at stake. Citizen confidence level is at an all-time low. Hong Kong resident Bob Kraft, a retired pastor, has taken part in many protests involving the chief executive. There is a great discontent among the general population about their living conditions and their livelihood and their future. They have no voice. What will happen to Hong Kong? For most Hong Kong residents, the lack of choices in the free market are alarming. Perhaps they believe Beijing has too much influence here, and that influence is growing.